welcome to Horrorverse. My name is Cody Hawk, and today we're going to be discussing the 2017 remake of It, directed by Andy Mujeski. I think is how you pronounce his name. Um, that's that's what I, how it sounds to me. So that's what I'm gonna say. Um, and the he's notable. I think the only thing I know him from was Mama, which I had a different opinion than a lot of people do. A lot of people love that movie. I was eh about it, but it wasn't horrible. Um, but I do see why people enjoyed it. It was an amazing looking movie and it was definitely different from what we're getting nowadays for horror movies. Um, but so and I'm pretty sure that movie is what gave him the ability to remake it. Um, but we're gonna get right into the review of it, the 2017 remake. Um, I didn't look up names but the, for the actors. Um, there's a few actors in it that I know. One of them is Mike from Stranger Things and then it had um, the kid from Shazam, not not Billy, but um, I don't remember his name was, but he was his um, foster brother. Those are two only main characters I recognized. Um, and then obviously the guy that played Pennywise, which his name is going to leave my brain right now. I can't remember his name. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen so you guys, I mean, you guys should know, but I'll put it down there just so you guys can know his name. Um, and I wanted to get this review out since the new one is coming out, I believe, next week. I think, and I will be going to see that, and I'll be doing a review, review for that one, um, It Chapter 2. Um, I enjoyed It. I enjoyed the remake. Um, it's a lot different from the original movie. Um, the, what was it, is it a two-part, two or three-part uh, TV series back in 91, 90? It's definitely a lot different than that. Um, but I think mainly is because, obviously, the time difference. Um, that one being in the 90s, everything looked different, so on and so forth. Um, and, and also with that one, I guess one, one thing to say is with that one, we already seen both parts. And mainly what I mean by looks different was the second part when they're adults. Obviously, that's going to be a lot different than what it is now because now it's going to be current time. Whereas in the remake, they were kids in the 50s and then they were adults in the uh, 90s. Um, but another big difference in these, these two movies was the original one was... Um, PG-13, or whatever the rating is for TV for basically PG-13. Whereas this one's rated R, so you get all the gore and the violence and the language, um, which I personally enjoyed. I know a lot of people did not like this movie. I mean, it, it did really well, but I have a bunch of friends that honestly did not like this movie. And I don't know why. I think it is because this one, it's kind of boring. I mean, I enjoyed it, don't get me wrong, but I can see where people think it's boring because of the fact that most of the exciting stuff, in my opinion, happens when they're adults. I mean, obviously, neither one of these movies or the new one coming out next week is going to be anywhere near like the book, which I have down here. I'll go ahead and show it because of the fact of, look how big that fucking thing is. I mean, this thing is massive. Um, how many pages is it? It's like, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, 1153 pages. So that would be a big movie. And there's a lot of creepy, just trippy things that happen in that book because Stephen King has a fucked up mind, which everybody loves. Um, but he's, he's messed up in the brain. So there's a lot in that book that I can almost guarantee we will not see in this new one. Um, but I'm not going to go into the book because it's been forever since I read it and a lot of it I don't remember. Um, but I could see where people thought this movie was boring because it was more of a setup for It Chapter 2. Um, I mean, obviously, there was a, the ending was more exciting, um, but besides that, you kind of just get a build-up. It's just build-up. There's a couple scary scenes here and there, and then you get the climax. Um, so for a horror movie, yeah, I could see where some people might think it's a little more boring. Um, but personally, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot better than the old one. And that, I mean, and like I said, that could be just because it was on TV, so it was rated lower, and the fact that it's an older movie, so it didn't... I know it's got like a cult following, but in my opinion, personally, it didn't go with the times, you know what I mean? Like some movies, you know, that come back out in the 80s and 70s and stuff like that, they keep their momentum. They're still good if you watch it 10 years later, 15 years later, and I feel like that's a movie or a series, whatever, that did not go up with the times. Um, so I am super excited for the sequel. Um, I think it'll be great. I know so far there's been a few reviews out, early reviews, and everyone loves it. So we can hope for that. It's got a great cast. Um, for the adults of the losers. Um, so I'm super excited about that. Um, 
But as in this one, like I said, some people can see it's boring, but in my opinion, it's just a slow build. You know, it's like a slow burn movie where there's so much building up, and I feel like it was deserved, the ending was deserved for the build up. Because I mean, it was, I'll admit that. It was a big build up. You only seen Pennywise, you know, as, I mean, there's, I guess I can spoil a little bit because it is, people, I feel like most people have seen this movie or seen the original. You know, and he messes with each kid individually, um, showing them things they're terrified of, and then slowly builds up to where they're all facing him. Um, so it's a build up, and I mean, that's just how this movie is. If you don't enjoy that type of horror movies or those type of movies, um, then you're not going to like it. Because, I mean, in my opinion, it's this one at least, I don't know about the sequel, but it's more of a suspense. It's like a suspense with some uh, graphic imagery. It's kind of like um, the movie Seven. I would count that as a suspenseful movie, but there is some horror elements put sprinkled in, if you know what I mean. Um, but so overall, I love the movie. Um, I just watched it last night to do this review. Um, and I know I, I don't spoil anything in my reviews. If you guys want me to start doing longer reviews where there's spoilers, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I still rewatch the movies to see if maybe the feeling I had when I first watched or the last time I watched it is still there. Because obviously, I mean, I could go in here and make up some kind of crap about these movies if it's been years since I watched them. But the thing is, some movies, you know, I'll rewatch. I might have loved a couple years back and then rewatch it and I hate it. So that's the reason I rewatch, try to rewatch movies before I do these reviews, even though there's no spoilers and I'm not discussing anything about the movie. Um, but yeah, so I would definitely recommend going and watch it, and I would definitely recommend going and watch It Chapter 2, because we really got to get people going and um, helping out these horror movies, this, this genre, because in the past couple of years, we're getting more and more and more and more, which is awesome, because like um, we just went and seen Ready or Not, the release night, and there were three or four trailers for horror movies, which is amazing. It's probably the most I've seen trailers for one movie in forever, because there was, um, I can't remember any of their names right now, but there's one, it's about an underwater monster. I, I actually think it's just called Underwater, if, I'm, if I believe so. Um, and it, ha it has the girl from Twilight, which you know, at the time I can remember her name, but I can't right now. And then there was another one, I can't remember what it's called, but it was like, it was, in my, what I'm assuming it's already about, just from watching the trailers, it's about um, uh, Chupacabra, I think. No, not Chupacabra, uh, Wendigo. I don't know why. A Wendigo, that's my opinion for the trailer. Um, I want to say it was like called Horn, or Antlers. It's called Antlers. Um, I guess I have horns in my mind, because I just recently rewatched Horns with Daniel Radcliffe in it, which... People don't, I don't think many people know about, which I think was a really good movie. And if you guys haven't seen it, I would recommend it. It's on Netflix right now. Um, so this review is getting all over the place. But let's get back to it. So like I said, quality movie, really good cinematography, great acting. Um, the kids did phenomenal. And that's a big thing with these type of movies when you got a bunch of kid actors is a lot of times kid actors, they're just not as convincing and compelling um, but I feel like all these kid actors did great. I loved all of them. Um, like I said, a lot more gory than the original, which I enjoyed. Um, like, for instance, with the Georgie scene, when Pennywise first takes Georgie, which I guess that might be a spoiler, whatever. It's a lot more gory and violent in this one than it was in the remake, because the remake, he just takes him, that's it. In this one, there's a little bit more to it. I won't go into it. Um, but so, yeah, great look. Definitely, it kind of had that dark tone to the the cinematography but then still you can still see everything but it kind of had that muggy you know depressing dark tone because it's a very upsetting movie i mean this town is a piece of shit they don't care about these kids whatsoever um but so yeah everything was i, I love the movie like i said um i would definitely recommend going and see it and i would recommend watching it right before you maybe right before you go see the chapter two um and i think for rating wise i'm gonna go with an eight out of ten all right, so my camera died right when I gave the rating for this movie. Um, so I'm sorry about that. I, t I talked for another two or three minutes, but it was more just rambling. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. But like I said, I did give it an 8 out of 10. Um, I highly recommend it. If you have the time and the patience, I would recommend reading the book as well. It's a really good horror novel if you enjoy those type of books. I mean, most of his books are great. I have quite a few down here, and I've read most of them. Um, so that's going to be it for the review of It, the 2017 remake. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later.